Hello everybody, we're going to do a multi-test review of the XTEP 160X Pro 3 from XTEP of China. So the X, the, the 3.0 is a 41.5 millimeter heel, 37.5 millimeter a forefoot by measurement is just a touch less than the Alpha Fly 2. It's $190, which is a really solid price for a super shoe, or $12.99 yun, and it will be shipped direct to you from China. Uh, it weighs 8.4 ounces, 238 grams in a US 9 sample, so a little bit more than some of the other uh, super shoes. But it is one fabulous shoe that we think is one of the best of the year. So let's get into it. First, a bit of a disclaimer. The shoes were sent to us by XTEP at no charge with no further compensation. So this is not sponsored content. Here's my take. Uh, XTEP clearly put every effort into creating a world-class long racer and trainer that can easily tow the line for many of us. It's very easily and successfully complete, competes with better known brands, super shoe offerings. Sticking to a four millimeter drop to get the most forefoot cushion and rebound from their excellent foam and state-of-the-art plate, they did not neglect rear stability with a stout heel counter and carbon wing, as not all of us are true and all the way to the finished forefoot midfoot strikers. Adding to value of what is a $190 shoe, considerably less than the competition, they use their CPU compound uh, as the outsole. It's so far proving very durable, adding to value. Please make sure to also check out our full multi-tester written review with 16 comparisons and lots more detail. Derek Lee in Singapore, one of our most experienced reviewers in a 239 marathoner, says, In terms of shoes released this year, I can confidently say that the XTEP 3.0 Pro is the overall shoe of the year for me. This point, price point and with the Super Shoes update from the different brands not really outperforming 2021 counterparts for me, and check out his comparisons in the full, full multi-tester review. I definitely plan on using the 163 Pro as my go-to marathon training shoe with a key focus on moderate to race pace long runs. Brian Lim, our contributor in Australia, a 123 half runner, says, I'm not sure how XTEP did it, but they've done a phenomenal job developing the 160 X3 Pro. Takes a worthy spot in a plethora of high stack carbon plated super shoes offered by its Western competitors. If I were judged by it ride alone, I would quite comfortably say that the Pro comes out as my favorite over ZoomX, Light Stripe Pro, Power Run PB, Flight Foam Turbo, and Fuel Cell offerings. The X Step Ace Foam is something else. Brian and several of us did have a bit of concern about the toe box room in the shoe, but that was about it. What's your pace, Matt? Uh, Matt Cran, one of our uh, reviewers in the multi-tester review and a 218 marathoner, says uh, the uh, XTEP uh, 3 Pro would be the only other shoe he would consider in addition to the Alpha Fly 1 for his next marathon. Okay, let's get into some details on this incredible shoe. First, a few aesthetic things. Comes in a very shiny, very heavy box. I wish it was a little bit more sustainably oriented, but it is smashing looking. And you can literally, this is the first time I can think where you can literally change the appearance of the shoe as you wish. So uh, we have a blue sock liner in the orange trim and tongue shoe. And we have an orange sock liner, uh, kind of a, a beaded foam sock liner in the blue trim shoe. So what you can do if you wish is they include an EVA sock liner. It weighs a gram or two more, a bit heavier, uh, a bit thicker. And so what you can do is you can put orange in your orange and blue in your blue <laughs> to make it an all blue shoe because the upper is so translucent. And I'll show you what they look on foot now. Well, you can see the R of my sock showing through that you can actually do that. But we like to talk about performance and ride here. So, but first let's talk a little bit about the upper. So it's a translucent mesh upper, a mono mesh type upper with some overlays. Uh, the toe box we all felt was a little bit low. They actually sent me a US 8. I'm usually an eight and a, eight and a half US, and I found it just a little bit short, but for say a half, uh, under a half, I would probably stick with that eight. I'm usually an eight and a half. Uh, so the fit is all the rest of us thought was true to size. 
uh, the upper tongue is really, really nice. One of the best, if not the best, super shoe tongues I can recall. You can see you have a lace loop here, and on the medial side, a second one. It really locks this thin tongue in place. There's no gusset. Uh, just supremely well. Uh, at the rear, we have plenty of uh, bolstering. Uh, Derek thought it's about the best rear hold in a shoe, super shoe and comfort that he's experienced. I would tend to agree with him. We have a lower overlay to the heel counter and then softer up above. And then very important, as with all of our X-Step, you can see the black here, that's actually the carbon plate. It has wings. Um, that uh, reach up, if you will, and stabilize us. You can see it's on both sides. Let's talk about the foam and the ride here. The foam, we think, is an expanded TPU, actually, based on the information we have. So it feels a lot like the Piba foams, but also there's some shades of boost in there. Much, much lighter, though, because we come in here at 8.4 ounces, 238 grams in a US-9. One of our testers, Brian, has a US-9. So that's a little bit heavier than the uh, many of our uh, super shoes we've tested, but we certainly didn't notice, none of us noticed it on the run. Um, we'll talk a bit more about the outsole. It's what they call CPU. Not sure what it is. It grips super well. They claim up to 2,000 kilometers of durability. And uh, our, our most prolific tester, I think he's at about 100 kilometers, sees nowhere even on the little um, out lug. So you're going to get a lot of durability out of this outsole. Moving back to the plate. So it has the wings at the rear. It has a very broad spoon, broader than usual. And we have that about 41 millimeter uh, uh, forefoot. Uh, heel 37 millimeter uh, forefoot of really quite soft foam stabilizes and gives it a lot of spring. Um, I found on the run that I could handle slower paces really well, not quite as well as the Alpha Fly, and we're going to compare to the Alpha Fly here A B in a minute. Um, you do need to put a bit more pressure, if you will, into the plate to really activate it, kind of get past it. But it's remarkable that for a four millimeter drop shoe, the heel does not feel low at all, really. So you can roll along really at all paces very easily in this shoe. Maybe not the slowest of paces. And if you're a hard uh, heel striker, say at uh, 10 minute miles or slower, probably not the best alternative. Um, however, X-Step also has their earlier version of the uh, Pro, the number number one version here of the Pro, and I found that softer and actually a bit more flexible in the forefoot. You can see it has some flex, whereas our Pro 3, I would call almost a traditional, if you could say that, plated shoe because it's rigid, but not totally, totally ridiculously rigid. Um, so we all felt very strongly that this was a a, a max cushion, soft, and very springy ride. Derek, Sam, Matt, Brian, Niles, we all agreed there. Uh, we also thought it was great for long runs and longer marathon pace efforts. Um, and uh, Matt did a 20 miler with a large segment of five, 10 miles. I went a, a little bit, uh, I went six, six or seven, and we would totally agree with that. Uh, we called it an excellent super trainer, adapted a variety of paces. Absolutely true. Um, for me, it's more a marathon shoe than, or a half shoe than a 10K type shoe. I would reach for another X step there, the one, uh, 160X 2.0 that got the fourth place in the women's marathon at the recent world championships. And this one, what's really different about it, see the X there, the X, X step? Well, what it does, um, and in combination with the plate, it's a flexible carbon shoe. Um, so it has a lower, um, a lower stack height. You know, over here, we're at uh, 41.5, 37.5, so a bit less than what Derek Merritt measures the Alpha Fly. Here, we're at um, 35. Uh, 28 so it's like 
race flat like with a very stable heel. So this is a really cool shoe. It's kind of my favorite of the group. Um, but this is your marathon type shoe. So um, in terms of uh, weight, I said it's uh, 8.4 ounces, 238 grams US 9. We'd all love it to, to be below eight ounces as most of the current super shoes are. But recall, it's pretty much the only one that has a four millimeter drop. So it has more four foot cushion stack than say the Alpha Fly um, or the uh, Asics offerings or the Saucony Endorphin Pro 3. And that is really felt the combination of all that cushion, the rebound of this incredible foam and the plate design really give you an incredible forefoot here. Okay, so, so in the um, next video, we're gonna compare it to the 160X Pro and then also the Vaporfly Next Percent 2 from Nike, and then the Endorphin Pro 3 from Saucony, and also the New Balance Fuel Cell SC Trainer, also a max cushion shoe. Thank you very much for watching, and please go over and see our next video, but this is one incredible new offering from X-Step that is well worthy of your consideration. It is a super fine one.